Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. This week we're going to learn all about a thumbnail sketch. So we will be making four small little drawings and then choosing our favorite one. That favorite one you will color and outline. That same thumbnail sketch that you choose will also become a 3D drawing and I'll explain that more later. Today, all we need to worry about is doing our thumbnail sketches. So, get your ruler and pencil handy. If you don't have a ruler, you can fold a piece of paper in half a few times until you have a thicker edge that you can use as a guide. So I'm going to label my sketchbook, as should you, so that you can remember what it is that you are doing and why now you're drawing you turn so your ruler small. vertically, which is just tall. Okay. And mark where you use see the three for three inches. Edge. Now, if you don't have a ruler, you can use your pointer finger and, and hold it right up line from to the top to right. line, and then at the bottom of your pointer finger, do a little dash where it's where your finger stops. Now, that line is going to be where we draw our next horizontal line with our ruler or straight edge. So you should have two parallel lines that are about three inches apart. Now, I'm going to leave my ruler here because I'm going to use the two-inch marker. And I'm going to make these little hatch marks here, these little little marks to label two inches. Now, if you don't have a ruler, you can use your thumb to measure two inches. You'll have three little marks. And then, look, I'm turning my ruler again vertically. And I'm bringing that mark from the bottom line to the top line. And I'm making rectangles. You will end up with four rectangles once you connect the bottom mark to the top line. Now these do not have to be exactly the same or perfect at all. It's just going to help us practice creating multiple thumbnail sketches so we can choose our favorite drawing design. Okay, so let's all do this together. Start with a horizon line. It goes left to right. That's where the sky meets the ground. Okay, now I'm going to do a little vase or pot here for the cactus. I'm going to do two slightly diagonal lines with a little curve at the bottom and a big curve at the top. Now the curve at the top is going to have another curve above it, so it'll end up looking like a little oval. Okay, now let's fill it with cacti. So I'm going to start by making a really big oval and the top is a little bit wider than the bottom. And I'm going to do a smaller a smaller little piece here connected to it. Here's another oval. It's almost like a teardrop shape. Okay, so go ahead and do three little cacti coming out of a pot here. They can be different, of course, a little bit. And you're going to design your own in these next thumbnail sketches also, or you can follow along with me if you'd like. I'll tell you the components they all need to have in just a moment. So I erased a little bit here and I'm going over and making my sketch the way I want it. So I'm just going ahead and adding some fun details like a sun. And here's some mountains in the background, which are just dia um, zigzag lines. Okay, what else can I add? Some more details here, the spikes. Now I'm not gonna do every single spike because this is just a thumbnail sketch and it is not the final drawing or sculpture. <laughs> now I'm gonna add some fun flower buds here at the top. You can draw any kind of flower you'd like up there. But don't color any of this in yet. Just do a nice sketch with a pencil don't fill it in with any graphite or pencil marks. Now look at this, I'm doing a shadow. This is important. It makes it look like our cactus is really three-dimensional because it has a shadow, which means it has form. So do a little shadow and now you can move on to the next cacti. This cacti is a little different, isn't it? It's in the foreground, which means it's gonna be really big and it's gonna take up a lot of space. So go ahead and do a cactus in the foreground. It can have a different design, but have it come from the bottom of the page. Do you see how I did that? 
So go ahead and design your cactus how you would like. And this background is gonna have a different kind of sun that's setting. Now the idea is we wanna have a variety or a lot of different drawings we can choose from. So we're trying to think how we can change each drawing and make it look unique. And you'll start to learn all kinds of new things you can do. The more, the more you make these thumbnail drawings, the more inspiration and creativity you will find. So I'm gonna add little clouds at the top. And what else can I add? Another cactus in the foreground, which means it's coming from the very bottom of the page and going up. Now we need to erase where the horizon line went through the cactus because you wouldn't really see that horizon line because the cactus is in front. So now I'm gonna add the spikes, some fun details, but remember, you don't need to add all the details. Now here's a fun way to make your cactus look more three-dimensional, like it has form. You wanna do a line down the middle and then like a C on the left of that line and a D on the other. Watch, watch how I do this. Line down the middle and then the C and then the D, line C, D. It's just a curve on the left and a curve on the right and then a line down the middle. And remember, you can pause this anytime you want. Okay, so let's do another fun design here. I'm gonna do another fun pot that the cactus is in, like a terracotta pot maybe. So it's two lines on the left and right connect with a curve, just like we did before. Now this is gonna have a really big bulb, so it's more of like a round shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the little flower here. It's a little different from the others. Line down the middle, and then a C, and then a D line, curved lines. Now look, you can see how it really has form now, doesn't it? And that cactus bulb looks like it has more texture. Okay. So let's do the horizon line, can't forget. And what am I gonna, a window. Let's put a window in the background. Or so, think of something different. Like if this cactus was inside your home or in your bedroom, what would you see out of your window? Or what would be on your desk? So you can see I did some zigzags for mountains and then this could be a rainbow or a sunset in the background, depending on what colors I choose. What else can I draw? So here's the horizon line for the, the outside. You see I did another horizon line. Now I'm gonna draw some items on my desk here because this will be a little cactus on my desk, my, my art desk. I'm gonna do a pencil. You guys can be creative, create your own fun items. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some more curved lines to give this little pot a design. I love little details, so we can't forget those. It is part of the, it is part of the design, so go ahead and do some, but just not all of the details. Don't do 100 little spikes, just do 10. And that'll remind you to add 100 later. <laughs> okay, now I did a paintbrush. Okay, everything looks good. Let me think of another fun idea for the fourth thumbnail sketch. You can create your own entirely, just don't forget the horizon line, and don't forget the cacti. And if you do multiple cacti, don't do too many, because we, we do want this to have kind of like one singular subject, one subject that's really stands out. So one big cacti. And then you could do like a tiny little one next to it, but we're only gonna make one of them look three dimensional. Okay, so I'm doing an oval and then doing two slanted lines underneath with a curve, another curve. There's a design on the pot. Now I'm gonna actually create a little pattern with some triangles and circles and repeating them alternating them so they make a nice little pattern. Great. Some more curves, sort of like ovals. I'm not gonna go overboard on my cacti because I know I have to make them 3D, so, and I'll explain how to do that later. But don't do too many because then you'll have too many cacti to make. All right, so I did the line down the middle, the C and the D on the uh, either side of the middle line and all of my cactus bulbs. So here are some little rocks inside that pot and some flowers. Okay, and I can't forget my, what is it? 
horizon line, but I'm going to do some zigzag mountains first. Okay, I cannot wait to see your thumbnail sketches. Okay, here's that horizon line. Now I need a shadow. I've forgotten shadow in a few of these. And a little sun, or maybe it's a moon. Oh, it's a sun. Sun rays. Now here is the shadow. If the sun is on the left, the shadow needs to be on the right. And then vice versa. That's because the light hits the shadow on the left and doesn't hit it on the right and creates that shadow from the shape of the cactus. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to add details and take a look and see if there's anything else I would like to add in my thumbnail sketches. Remember, you're going to choose one and you're going to color it today. And then next time, it's going to be really fun because I'm going to show you how to make it look 3D on a bigger piece of paper. So you will see I have sped up the video a little bit here to color. And I have chosen my favorite layout. It's this thumbnail sketch, the third one over. And I don't know what thumbnail sketch you're going to choose, but choose one and color it in. Make sure you have at least one cactus, a shadow, a horizon line, and then something in the background, something in the foreground, which means on the ground or on the tabletop. So I did a shadow in the foreground um, here in this one that I'm coloring. I did a mountain in the background with the sun. Then you can see in each of my thumbnail sketches, I've got the subject, which is the cactus. And then I've got something in the background. And then I also have something in the foreground in each of these thumbnail sketches. So go ahead and make sure you complete those. Color in your favorite. Now, if you feel like it, you can outline it with a black marker. You do not have to, or a black pen. You're drawing. It looks really nice when you outline it. Um, you may even color the rest of your thumbnail sketches if you really like them, but you don't have to. Just color one. That's all I need you to do. Okay. Well, you can take a look at what we'll be doing next week. I've included a picture, um, but it is very important that you finish your thumbnail sketch first so you know what your design will be for the next step. Okay, well thanks for watching and coloring and following all the steps. I appreciate you guys so much and all your hard work and creativity. Thanks for watching and go ahead and submit your finished thumbnail sketch after you color it to me in Schoology. Thanks everybody. Talk soon. I almost forgot, if you really like thumbnail sketches, you can try to draw one the size of your thumbnail, or a little bigger if you need, just like I did here. Take a look. It's very small. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.